This is a movie review for Red Dawn. Oh, what the fuck? Ah. What was that for? For being an idiot! Sam, you're all that I wanted of a girl. You're all that I need in the world. I'm your child, make me blush, drown the wild. Suzanne, you're all that I wanted. Hey everyone, welcome to a review. Hi, this is a review. It's for Red Dawn. What? It's a remake. Fine. It stars Chris Hemsworth, Josh Peck, Josh Hutcherson, and a hot chick. Yeah, there was another hot chick, but she was a waste of a character. We did not really understand the I was talking about that one. What about the other one that was actually used? She was alright. Okay, no, but the one that was... The one she, she was in there, she... Shut the fuck up! No, she, no, you suck. She had this big You suck. Right? Fine. All right. Red Dawn is a remake of the 1984 film starring Patrick Swayze. See Thomas Howell. Get in the camera, you idiot. Uh, and, uh, yeah. I was actually really looking forward to this movie. Um, it had the whole Cabin in the Woods, Skyfall delay shit. But still, I was looking forward to it. I, I do not understand all the hate this movie has gotten. Uh, and uh, it's a shame that a lot of people are going to hate this movie because of the Rotten Tomatoes score. I actually had a really solid... You know, time with this movie. It's a solid film. It is, it is good. I can't base it off of the original, though, because I didn't see it. But Same. I found the remake to be really good, because the, the actors, they were they were good. The, the scenes, it had a good good action parts in it. But yeah. But what, what got to me was that the, the characters could have been, the lines could have been a little better made. They weren't developed enough, but mm -hmm. that's my opinion. What would you give it? I would give it an eight and a half. Mm -hmm. At eight and a half out of ten, because there were a lot of parts in the movie that could have been better, a mm -hmm. bunch of holes that should have been filled, mm -hmm. like the the whole, the whole North Korea invading America thing, is just you don't know why you're sitting there the whole movie wondering when are they going to explain this, and then they start and then they start going to fight them, and you're still sitting there wondering why why are they fighting them why did they invade I mm -hmm. lost completely. All right, move. Time for my review. Eh. Goodbye. I get it. Well, I actually agree mostly a lot about with um, you know, Mr. Legary over here. I actually thought there was really not a well-explained reason why North Korea was there in the first place. I agree. There was really no depth to any of the characters. There's really no development. I did care about the characters, but I but really. It wasn't really the characters I cared about, it was the actors portraying those characters that I did care about. And all around, I thought the cast was solid, except Adrian Palicki, who's going to be in uh, the new G.I. Joe movie, and she was just... Her character was another very... One? Yeah, it was going to be another G.I. Joe movie. Oh, and, and she was very thin, very thinly written character, and like she came off as really obsessive over Chris Hemsworth's character, because like every scene she was in, she was like, remember when we were kids? Remember when we were this? It was weird. And uh, everyone's hating on my boy Josh Peck. Josh Peck's a great actor, all right? You know, you got the Wackness and Mean Creek. He's done dramatic roles, people. He's awesome, and I thought he was really, really good in this movie. I think he was probably my favorite of the movie. I don't get why people are saying he was awful, he was horrible. I thought he had really good chemistry with Chris Hemsworth. They felt like brothers to me. I really like Chris Hemsworth a lot. You know, he's really impressed me this year with The Avengers and uh, Cabin in the Woods and now this. I thought he did a really good job. Thor versus North Korea. Yeah, Thor versus North, North Korea. Yeah, the visuals were awesome. I thought, you know, the, the action scenes were very well choreographed and shot and directed. I think this is a solid film. It does have its flaws, but I had a really solid time with it. I'm going to give it a solid... A uh, weak, two solid eight out of ten. It's close to a seven and a half, but I'm going to go jump to an eight. I really don't understand why this movie is getting a lot of hate. So I'm Mr. Google. Don't forget to ski cap. Subscribe. I'm out. Look at the little Moki. Moki boy. Moki boy.